and now in Lagos State, the governor, Babajide Sawulu, has restated that a seven-day ultimatum given to all illegal occupants under Akwagbon Bridge to vacate the place still stands. Sawulu was speaking during an on-the-spot assessment of the extent of damage done by the fire incident that occurred under the bridge last week. Plus TV Africa, Plus TV News correspondent Love Ikuku Oyedoku was there now reports. It was a black Wednesday for those whose livelihoods were tied to trading under the Akwombo Bridge. They woke up to the sad reality of losing properties and goods worth millions of naira to the inferno, which was said to have started around 3 a.m. The visit of Governor Sawundu to the area gave him an ample opportunity to have a first-hand information on the situation. The level of destruction, very, very extremely unfortunate. Um, this is a clear testimony of how public assets should not be turned to. And so we've given seven days' notice, and I want to reiterate, it's still on. So Wednesday is the deadline for everybody that has anything to have left there. He interacted with some of the traders and stressed the need for them to vacate the place for the general good of the people. For the government, trading under the bridges is a big risk that surely outweighs its benefits. But the traders seem not to be favorably disposed to any planned relocation. We are just begging them to have mercy on us, temper justice with mercy. There's millions of Naya has gone to the drain and some people are still in the hospital due to the shock. So it's not, our, it's not as if we are happy that this happened. In as much that we appreciate that it is their livelihood, but their safety is more important to us. Safety of life and properties is the key. What looks paramount on Governor Sawunlu's mind is how to restore normalcy to the area as soon as possible. He told the people that his government is not out to make life miserable or tough for his citizens, but to ensure their safety. I will work with the special advisor CBD and the local government chairman. I will see how we bring forward representative of the, of the traders and we can both identify where we can reallocate or relocate them to very, very, very quickly. And these are some of the things that we're going to do to ensure that you know they, they do not miss their source of livelihood. But to go back to how it's been done is to mean that we're just, I mean, we're being reckless, you know, because we cannot be assured of, 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 of the safety. Echo Bridge is one of the three bridges that connects Lagos Island, the commercial and financial district of Lagos, to the mainland. Although the cause of the inferno is yet to be determined, it is alleged that it was caused by some combustible materials stored under the bridge. From Lagos, Love Ikuku Oyedoku. Plus TV News. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.